with the KX News Storm Team. And good evening. Temperatures are cooling, of course, as that sun has set. And actually, we're going to see our overnight lows a little earlier. After midnight, we'll start seeing some numbers start to climb. It's not going to be a dramatic climb, but you'll see warmer temperatures by the time we head into tomorrow morning. Right now, in the capital city, we're at 24. Winds are light from the south at only 6 miles per hour. We're still in the 20s for many of us, and that's the case in Minot as well. 24 degrees west-southwest winds at only 8 miles per hour. A few teens are out there, and that would be off towards the east. And Harvey at 19, 17 in Garrison, some 20s there off towards the west. Your absolute comfort wind chills down to the teens. Those winds are mostly out of the west around 5 to 15 miles per hour. So not too strong for the winds. We know these winds are going to increase as we head into tonight and into tomorrow morning, especially with that front pushing through. That does give some of us a chance for some snow. You can see that here off towards the west. Uh, this is another quick moving Alberta clipper. They don't come with a ton of snow, but they do have a brief wind with them. And we are looking at some light accumulation into tomorrow morning. Snow chances certainly uh, looking to be likely for many of us throughout the week. And with that northwesterly flow, we're going to keep those chances more chances, better chances, I should say, as we head into Thursday. That's a day where we could actually see a bit of a wintry mix because the temperatures want to rise to above freezing for many. But this round here is going to be all light snow heading through tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Again, certainly could see a very light accumulation. And for many of us, uh, you could get kind of hit or miss snow showers here, keeping that small chance into Thursday afternoon and mainly having it confined off towards the west heading into Wednesday. Wednesday will be cloudy for the rest of us in central North Dakota who are not getting that chance for some snow and temperatures look to be cooperating as well. Here's that chance for snow in terms of how much you'll see tomorrow morning. Probably a, a trace to up to maybe a half an inch or so at best. Not a ton of accumulation with this clipper system and those northwesterly gusts could pick up to around 25 and 30 heading into tomorrow. Now your temperatures again, these are going to cool here in the coming hours only to see a slight rise as we head uh, towards the morning commute. A lot of 20s into Tuesday morning and through the day those temperatures they are back into the 20s and the 30s. So it is going to be another beautiful day in terms of temperatures uh, because we've got a big cool down coming and it's coming as we head towards the weekend. Here we go again with the Arctic air sinking into North Dakota throughout the week. We're going to say pretty seasonable, but it's going to be noticeably different late Friday into Saturday. Cold air sinks in not just this weekend, but it could linger through the first week of February. So I want to show you the next 10 days worth of temperature trends and you can see here uh, the flip of a switch we're going to have, if you will, heading into Friday afternoon. That cold air does arrive and then it sticks around heading into the weekend and through much of next week. So enjoy these temperatures in the normal territory because we are dropping into the deep freezer here and over the weekend. Here are your next three days for Dickinson. Better chances for snow here in the far west. Very hit or miss little small bursts of snow. A few tenths of an inch here, a few tenths of an inch there. Here's that same forecast for Williston looking for some upper 20s on Wednesday. And then again, with the possibility of above freezing on Thursday, we are looking at a bit of a wintry mix, which could still pose some issues with ice on the roads. Over the next week in Minot, once we get into the weekend, those temperatures, again, they plunge. We'll have that cold front move into our neck of the woods late Friday. And so it'll plunge us for the weekend and we'll stay cold. Uh, through the first part of next week at least. Here's that same forecast for Bismarck. I mean, we're talking mid-30s to single digits in about 48 hours. I know, hard to believe, but we're kind of used to those temperature drops. So <laughs> We've seen this before. We've, we've exactly. been through the same song and dance before. We're pros at it, so we'll be prepared. <laughs> Thanks so much, Amber. Coming up next, refugees are coming to North Dakota, and there's a way you can be involved.